Jocelyn Art Museum. <clears throat> the museum was a gift to the people of Omaha from Sarah Jocelyn in memory of her husband, George. The museum's original 1931 building is one of the finest examples of Art Deco architecture in the nation. The Walter and Suzanne Scott Pavilion, a 58,000 square foot addition, was built in 1994. Hi. I'm Mark Renner from Brookshire Hathaway Ambassador Real Estate. I'm known as Mr. Omaha. That's my logo in the upper corner of your screen. I've been voted the outstanding agent in Omaha twice, and I was honored by the Omaha Area Board of Realtors as being a legend in real estate. I would love to talk to you about any of your real estate questions or needs. My contact information is streaming below. So please feel free to call me with any questions you have about buying, selling, mortgages, builders, or just the state of the real estate market in Omaha. But today I want to talk to you about one of the treasures of Omaha, one of my favorite places, Jocelyn Art Museum. This is a great place for visual arts and performing arts because in the center of the museum is the Witherspoon Concert Hall, a great place for concerts, plays, ballets, and so forth. But I also want to talk to you today about two of the greatest exhibits that Jocelyn Art Museum opens. Carl Bodmer. Carl Bodmer was a French artist who traveled with the explorer, explorer Maximilian in the 1830s and was one of the first white men to see the American Indian in its original set in his original setting his or her original setting and his paintings are so detailed they almost look like photographs but it gives us a very clear view of what the indian life was in the frontier before the white man took everything over this collection of paintings called the views views of a vanishing frontier was originally owned by Enron, uh, which uh, Northern Natural Gas, which became Enron, and was on loan to Jocelyn Art Museum. But before they moved, Northern Natural Gas moved from Omaha to Houston to become Enron, they donated the uh, exhibit to Jocelyn, so it is there. It's not on exhibit now, but it will be from time to time. And when it is, you want to go visit the museum and see it. And one of my other favorite exhibits is the Chihuly exhibit. Chihuly is a glass artist, the first one who made glass artistry mainstream, and he's famous worldwide. If you go to a gift shop, uh, any place in the world, I know I have done it several times in other parts of our country, and you see a piece of glass art, the person that works there over there will come over and say, that art was done by Joe Blow, who studied under Chihuly. Well, Chihuly in the late 90s came to Omaha and did an exhibit. He was a fascinating man. Um, what you see here in this picture are two exhibits, two examples of Chihuly art. The picture on your right is a Chihuly creation that Jocelyn bought, as well as some other Chihuly creations that Jocelyn bought. But he's also very famous for his seascapes, which is the yellow uh, exhibit picture on the left. So when you get a chance to visit this beautiful place, call online to Jocelyn, get an appointment because they do social distancing, and you will love going to Jocelyn Art Museum and just exploring. I thank you for watching. Have a great day and be safe.